All right, guys, full disclaimer. Um, when I was looking at the description of the game, I thought it said roguelite. Um, and I got the definition of roguelike and roguelite confused because this is a rogu roguelike game. But uh, I was thinking roguelite where you come back and you play through it over and over again and get stronger. But it is a roguelite game because that is procedurally generated. So anything I say about that, just disregard it. I was wrong. Um, I just want to put that at the beginning of the video because I was wrong and I wanted to make sure you guys know um, that was my mistake, not the creator's mistake. It is a roguelike. Alright guys, welcome back to another Itch.io free-to-play walkthrough. Today we have Finding Rick, which is supposed to be like a roguelike horror game. Um, I already played a little bit of this because my game wasn't recording, so I'll try it again. But, all oh, this the environment changes. This ain't the same. I guess that's the rogue. It's more like procedurally generated than roguelike, I believe. Because, like, um, the area changed. But, oh, hell, I ain't got no gun, dude. I didn't have a gun spawn this time. Hell no, dog. I got no gun. This is the room I started in the first time. There's no... What? I need a gun. <laughs> but, yeah, so these people made this game in four to five days. It was a team of four. Pretty interesting. Takes about five shots to kill a zombie. I don't think this is roguelike, though. I think it's procedurally generated. I think they got that confused. Because roguelike's like you die and then you unlock something. And you become stronger as you play it over and over again. This is more... You play and then the rooms spawn differently. So... But yeah, I like the graphics. Oh! Wow, I'm so blind, boy. Jesus. Okay, well... Damn, I feel dumb. I feel so dumb! I thought I had to use the bolt cutters or something. It was literally in the corner of the room. If it would have said this room, I would have never figured that out. Yeah, that's good to know. I have like the worst habit of not looking up or down, like real life or video game. What are you doing, dude? You gotta go through that door? Sometimes the headshots register really well and it takes like two shots and other times. These rooms are all very similar. They only got like four different types of rooms, maybe. From what I've seen so far. I'll let him live. He's not doing anything bad. I know of. Come over here, though, and you're gonna die, son. I'm just letting you know. But yeah, this is pretty impressive for four or five. Come on, man. Four or five days of work. Definitely run into games that take weeks or months and they don't even work. This works. It's just simple. But, I mean, simple's not always bad. It's not a roguelike, though. I don't see any roguelike concepts in this game at all. <laughs> oh, this is a different room. All right, we're up to five rooms. That's good. This is a cool-looking room, too. It's got, like, all these beds and this ugly thing that's dead now. I wish there was more guns, that'd be kind of cool. And like, maybe more ferocious enemies. Damn, it needs a code. What? What code? Oh, shit. The mug code. The blood stain on the writing on this mug says July. Thick. Okay, July. Is that the code? July. You type out 5859, which spells July. You obtained a key piece. Uh, it would, yeah, you should probably make that where I can do the puzzle. Like, I look up July, and then I look at a phone, and I'm like, oh, it's 5859. Because I think that's what the puzzle was. It's like, oh, hell, dude. What the hell? That dude was fierce. What are you doing, camper? <laughs> Dummy? Oh, they're everywhere. There's one on the right and one on the left. There's one on the right. They did really good with the sound design, because I could hear the person on the right. Oh, never mind. He's in front of me. I was about to say, if they, there's an actual person on the right waiting for me, they did amazing with the sound design because it sounded like there's something on my right, but it's in front of me. Close enough. Yeah, I like this. This is sick. I like that as puzzles, even though you don't really solve them, you just look for things. That's a good way to do puzzles if you don't know how to, or you don't want to risk your 
player not being able to solve them. Because out without putting a telephone there, I would have I would take me forever to figure the five eight five nine out. And I do combinations like that. When I had a safe, I would pick a word and I'd make the combination of what was on the telephone pad. Like say if it's like, for instance, oranges, I'd look at like. Oh, would be like seven or something like that, or six. I don't know what number it is off the top of my head. I always had to have a phone sitting next to my safe. But that would have took me forever. And I'm not sure that's what it is, but I think that's what he did. Because it's 5859. But you never know. Oh, another room. Yeah, the only couple downsides is this is a little bit simplistic. Um. You gotta give your user some kind of, or player some kind of credit for not being too dumb to figure out your puzzles. Um, granted, you're probably gonna piss off a lot of people and a lot of people will probably give up if they can't figure out the puzzle. But I think you should still, there's a car here. Why is there a car in this house? Can I jump up there? I can't jump. Jump would be nice as well. Uh, the enemies are a little bit too simple. They don't move fast enough. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Oh, there we go. Kinda. I was climbing something for a second there. There we go. Am I supposed to climb out of here? Oh, this is difficult. Yeah, I guess that's what I'm supposed to be doing. Looks like I'm getting up. Get up, get down with the sickness. I don't see a door anywhere, so... No jump key. <laughs> Let's look around some more, just to make sure that I'm not supposed to be doing something else. What if I blow that up? Give me a second. Okay, there's nothing that blows up on that, apparently. Hmm. Oh, I'm supposed to go back through the door? That's interesting. That different monster? Stench is unbearable. He ain't got no head. Oh, he ain't coming back. That's nice. Inch is quite unbearable. Oh, do I get to use that? No. Let's say bone saw. <laughs> uh, probably for this. Hmm. The safe seems to utilize fingerprint scanner. I right, give me your fingerprint, dude. Oh, that's why I picked up the software. That's pretty neat. But yeah, all the puzzles cuts off finger. Um. Sound effects would be good too. I like the sound effects they use for the monsters. That's creepy. Um, but there could be sound effects for like cutting a finger off and stuff. But like, granted, all the feedback I'm giving them is for like feedback for like a game that you spend like more time on. This was done super short, so I'm not criticizing them at all. I'm just giving them ideas for like the next game, possibly. Or not even that's just ideas, just like thoughts that they could put into the next game, possibly. Yeah, the enemies are a little bit way too easy. Uh, the puzzles, they're not really puzzles. It's like, go grab this, go grab this, move on. Boss fight would be cool. I don't know if there is a boss fight, especially since I've only seen one type of enemy. But that would be dope. Oh. Ha ha ha! Bastards! <laughs> Straight bastards, boy! It closed the game and went to Rick Astley. Well. <laughs> what an ending. What a twist! God damn it. They got me. They got me so good. Uh, but yeah, I like this. I thought it was pretty neat. I like the creator's sense of humor. Um, but if they do make a more serious game, hopefully they'll take those... Uh, critiques into consideration, like harder enemies, puzzles that you can actually solve, a real ending. Boss fight would be cool. Uh, it's not a roguelike. That's, it's just not, it's not a roguelike. It's a procedurally generated, like, dungeon kind of thing. And then, yeah. I guess that's the end of the game. I'm not going back and playing it after getting Rick Rolled. Because you can never tell. If that's just a random item you can pick up, you can never tell if you're going to be picking up that item or it's going straight to close the game. So I'm assuming it's the ending. But yeah. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Bye!